Assalamu alaikum. In the last two videos, we are talking about quantum harmonic oscillator. We discussed how to formulate the Hamiltonian of the quantum harmonic oscillator. Then we discussed how to factorize the Hamiltonian and get the solution for energy eigenstates. We also discussed uh, or derived the energy eigenvalues for different eigenstates. In the last video, I initially intended to talk about the orthonormality of the eigenstate, but I missed that. But we did half of that, actually. We talked about the normality, normali or normalization of the states, and we showed that the energy states are normalized, but uh, we didn't show that the energy states are orthogonal to each other. Today, we'll show that the, these energy eigenstates are orthogonal to each other. So we started with the Hamiltonian. Uh, in the, here, this is the kinetic energy term, and this is the potential energy term. And we factorized it, and uh, we wrote it like this way. Here, A dagger is called the rising operator, and A is the lowering operator. And uh, N hat is the number operator. So from here we can see that the whatever the energy eigen whatever the eigenstates for the number operator is also the eigenstates for the uh, Hamiltonian operator. Now we these uh, lowering and rising operators are real quantity. So this is here we have I p, but we know that the p hat equals I h cut d by d x. So, so minus I s cut d by dx. So uh, this is, uh, so finally, A is a real quantity or real operator, and this is also a real operator. Though A and A dagger doesn't me give any physical quantity or doesn't represent any physical parameter, like what momentum has, the momentum operator, we have, we know momentum, what is physical, but these are real valued operators. Okay, we showed that the eigenstates can be written as like this. So for any state n, psi n will be uh, like this uh, equation, one by square root over n factorial. Then uh, we have a dagger operating on psi zero n times, or the psi zero is the ground state wave function. And uh, we did a, we showed that psi zero it can be written as this one. This is an exponential function. Since a dagger is a real uh, operator, the psi n all the states will be real because psi zero is real. So the all the eigenstates are real, and the energy eigenvalue it, it can we derive that energy eigenvalue is uh, written in terms of n, where this n is the eigenvalue for the number operator and the number operator acts on these states. That is, uh, when the number operator acts on psi n, it gives us n psi n. This is the eigenvalue that for the number operators. Okay, since uh, for the ground state, the uh, number of, when the number operator acts on this ground state, it gives you zero, the ground state energy would be half h cut omega. That is here, if we put n equals zero, we have half h cut omega. Now, after this, um, we showed, uh, sorry, just one thing here. The, here, the states are normalized. That is for psi n, the inner product is one for n equals any value. Okay, um, uh, the, these are the three first three states of a function, psi zero, this is the ground state, and this is the first excited state, and this is the second excited state. Okay, we also uh, derived these commutation relations and we sh uh, showed that um, the commutative relation between uh, these uh, operators can be written also like this way. We didn't derive it, but we uh, left it as a homework for the students so that they can do it. So, and uh, we also showed this one, when an operator x on the wave function, if this gives zero, then, this quantity can be written as commutator. This is because if we write it explicitly, we have a hat 
b hat minus b hat a hat i. Now we know that this is zero. When a hat x on shy, it gives zero. So we left off only with this term. So this is to simplify actually the life. We will use it. So uh, today we want to show that the wave functions are uh, orthonormal or orthogonal to each other. For that, we need some other mathematical tools. Let's derive those things. That for any state, psi n, when uh, operator A acts on that, it gives this equation. That is, it lowers the, the state by one unit. This is what we said in the last video, but we didn't show that what will be the mathematics here. But for the ground state, for n equals zero, we know that when A operates on the ground state, it gives zero. But uh, so in that case, this is zero and the result is zero. But for uh, n to be non-zero, what will be result? So let's uh, to, uh, first see it. So we have written here psi n equals this using the definition of psi n that we did, uh, we have shown here, this definition. So we have one of our square root n factorial, then a hat operates on psi zero n times. So this is what we have here. Now, since uh, here, actually now we can use this uh, uh, condition because we know that when a hat operates on psi zero, it gives zero. So we have a hat and a hat dagger n times. So following this one, we can write like this way. So we have this commutator. Now we know the result of this commutator from here. So this is a and, upper, uh, and, uh, and a dagger n times. So this would be a, a dagger n times. Here is k, but in the equation it is n. So we have uh, we will have n a dagger to the power n minus one. So this is what we have n a dagger to the power n minus one. Now let's. Uh, multiply with this expression n minus one factorial. So we divide it again with n minus one factorial. Now, if we see from this quantity, we can write it as psi n. So this is what we have psi n and we have n uh, square root n minus one factorial this one and this is we already have it the p factor now after simplification we get like this one so we see that when a operates on uh, psi n it gives us psi n minus one multiplied with a number that is it lowers the state by one unit that's why it's called lowering operator now let's see what happens when a dagger operates on the wave function psi n for any state. So we can write again this using the definition of psi n. This is the same as here. So we have this. Now if we multiply this a dagger with this one, then we have a dagger to the power n plus one. Now let's put again here the product we multiply n plus one factorial and here n plus one factorial so we haven't changed anything now this term together they give psi n plus one and we have the other two terms after simplification we get this one so whenever a dagger operates on psi n it gives us psi n plus one multiplied with a number. That is, a dagger uh, rises the state by one unit. So that's why it's called the rising operator. So we have these two expressions. When a operates on psi n, we give psi n minus one multiplied with a number that is square root n. This you can see from here, this is n. And when a dagger operates on psi n, we have psi n plus one 
and n plus one, the number is square root of n plus one here. We will use this to show that the wave functions are orthogonal to each other. So this is what we want to show that wave functions are orthonormal to each other. We have already shown that wave functions are normalized. That is for any state n, this is one. But if this is not the same, these states are not same, then it is the delta function. That is, uh, if they are same, this is one. If they are not same, then this is zero. So this gives the normalization condition. There's the wave functions are normalized, and this gives that wave functions are orthogonal. Together, we say that these wave functions are orthonormal. Okay, so we will use uh, these equations uh, or these results that we have shown in the last slide. To show this, let's uh, take uh, two states, two different states, and uh, first show them, then we will generalize it. And so let's start with chi 3 and uh, chi 2. So we can write it like uh, this chi 3, we can write 1 over using the definition in terms of chi 0, 1 over square root 3 factorial, a dagger. Let's not write the heads uh, because it's just complicated the things. So we have chi 2, this is chi 0. Now we can take these a daggers to this side one by one, because if we take this a dagger here, it will be a. In the other side, it will be a. So we'll have, like if, uh, let me write here. So I will have 1 over square root 3 factorial. I will have chi 0 and then the ta chi 2. So, of course, we have heads here. Now, when the, uh, these results, we know that we have seen that when a dagger acts on chi n, it gives us square root n chi n minus 1. So, if we use that, we will have here. 1 over square root of t factorial. And from this, we will have a square root of 2. So we'll have a dagger. No, sorry. Not a dagger. We'll have chi 0. So we have a, a, chi 1. Because uh, we use this one. And a operates on chi 2, it gives us. 2 chi 1. So we have used this one. So now we have this, and when again a x on chi 1, it will give us only square root 1 chi 0, but this is nothing but 1. So if we do so, we will have um, square root of 2, square root of 3 factorial chi 0 a zero. Now we know that when uh, the lowering operator acts on the ground state, it gives us zero. That is the total result is zero. So we have seen, and the, so this is uh, for any, if we have here chi four uh, and the chi two, we will also have zero because after uh, two of a dagger, uh, sorry, two a dagger, when we take a daggers on the right side, they will become a after two uh, acting two a on chi zero will chi two will have the ground state wave function. Then the next a when it operates on the ground state wave function, it will give us zero. That is, we can see that for any um, states when these two numbers are not same, this will give us zero. Okay, we we can uh, show that opposite way also. Let's let's now show that. If we have a chi 2 and chi 3, this is also 0. So again, we can write this chi 3 uh, from the definition uh, using chi 0. So we'll write here the square root of 3 factorial. We have chi 2. This is a dagger, a dagger, a dagger acting on chi 0. So we can write it like this one. 1 over square root 3 factorial, a, 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 all three acting on chi 2. 
psi is 0. Now, when this one acts here, we will have again like a square root of 2, then a square root of 3 factorial a, a psi 1, psi 0. And this is, we can write from there this one 2, 3 factorial a psi 0, psi 0. But this is 0. So the final result is again 0. So we have shown that whenever the these uh, states are not on the same order, the result would be zero. Therefore, we have shown that the wave functions are orthonormal to each other because we previously shown that wave function are normalized for any state of psi n is zero. Now we have shown that for any state where they are different, this is zero provided n is not equal to m. This is what we write it like this way with a delta function. So the wave functions are, that is the eigenstates for, for simple harmonic oscillator are normalized and they are orthogonal to each other. That's all for today. Thank you.